I'm going to start with a um, quite philosophical question. Uh, there is a professor here in the UK, uh, Jane Kaplan, that uh, mm, to the best of my research is one of the persons that is uh, studying the most about identity and identifications. And I think that we will discuss in next presentation, but uh, we can brief the difference between identity and identification in these questions. Uh, you may know who you are, and probably all of us, we know who we are, but how do I know that you really are who you say you are? I think that that's, again, a very philosophical question, and we can rephrase this question in other words and say, can you be identified as an individual? And I don't know if we can. <laughs> but, and if so, how we are going to prove, to prove uh, this identity? So if you think about, about this, I think that this is behind, you know, in today's world, you know, wh one of the biggest problems uh, we have. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with this initiative uh, where uh, this is a public-private uh, partnership, ID2020, which is um, addressing a big problem. There are in the world uh, one, uh, almost two billion people without uh, identity, and that creates a, a lot of problems in terms of, if you think, for example, in the refugees uh, crisis that we are uh, facing in, in Europe, and what this uh, um, uh, initiative is trying to promote is uh, to create a digital identity uh, for every single inhabitant of this planet. And if you are interested, uh, you can find information about this initiative, but uh, I can sum up uh, what the benefits of digital identity are in these uh, four P's, you know, personal, uh, unique to you, a persistent, an identity that follows you from life to death. And now there is a big discussion on, on data of uh, dead people. Actually, you know, the, the Spanish provisions, they have the new draft bill has included a number of uh, provisions and regulation on data of dead people. That's a different a discussion. Of course, you know, your digital identity needs to be private, uh, so only you can give permission to use your data, and needs to be portable, and, and I think that that's key in today's world, you know, it, it needs to be accessible anywhere you happen to be. So, um, the European Commission in the strategy of the, of the digital single marketing uh, market has realized the importance of electronic identification and in 2014, um, the regulation on identification was an uh, issue. As you know, until September 2018, all the regulation will be not completely enforced, but the European Commission is recognizing that secure electronic identification is an uh, extremely important neighbor for data protection and also to prevent online uh, fraud.